Hello and welcome to this edition of the how-to videos. In this video we're going to continue our series of customizing the team page. Uh, this is part three and today we're going to talk about customizing the roster. So let's go to the roster tab which is you can get to from your team page. Once we get to the roster tab we'll see two different sections. The team personnel section which is coaches, committee members, the team roster section will show all the players currently on the team. And what we're going to talk about today is customizing to some degree what information appears here. And you will notice initially that we're only seeing the player's first name, the coach's first name, committee, committee members' first names. Uh, we see some players have their jersey number, position, some do not. So how do we uh, update that information? Well, we'll show you that. So to, to update this information, we'll do this on the team settings page. But before we do that, let's click on one of these coaches. And so we'll see this is like detailed information about the coach. And we can also, by making some changes to the roster, uh, customize to some degree what information appears here for this coach. And the same with a player, we can click on a player, we can customize to some degree what information will show up here. So let's show you how to do that. So what you need to do is go to Team Settings, like I mentioned. And uh, we'll need to scroll down. There's an area on the bottom of the screen. We'll see Team Personnel. So let's scroll down there. And you'll see the Team Personnel area. And what you'll notice in the column headings here, we'll see these check boxes. These check boxes control what information will appear. And then we also see this order. And this is the order these personnel will appear on the roster area. So let's say we want to show the last name. Remember, we just were seeing the first name. This, this is the reason. This first name was the only one checked. So let's check last name. Role is checked, so we saw that. Uh, let's check phone. Uh, for address, we can, you know, we may want to not show everything about the address. So let's just say, let's show city. Uh, we can, let's show email. Uh, so this is the team personnel area. We also have a team roster area where we can do same types of things. So let's do that now. So you'll see on the team roster area, it's a similar type of thing. You see first name, last name, let's check last name. Let's also check city for the address. Let's leave phone all, all the way off. This is, just to go through these real quick. This is the phone, cell phone, office phone, address, city, state, zip. Um, now, here's where you can set the position, their jersey number. So let's say Justin is number 39. He's a linebacker. So this is where you would set the jersey number and position. And this notes area is this text box here where you can fill in you know, some special notes about this particular player. And again, you can adjust uh, the sort order or the positioning, you'll see them in the roster that shows up here. So let's click update. So now let's go back to the roster area real quick. And now you'll notice that we'll see the last name. And again, we see the jersey number <clears throat> position for Justin. And we've updated that. And if we click on one of the coaches, we'll see there's the city, email, phone that we've uh, that we checked you know, earlier in the team settings. And then the email, you can even click on it. It'll uh, open up the email to send this coach an email. So that's a way to adjust what information shows up on your roster. And you can even adjust you know, the order we talked about before of how these people appear in the, this area or how the players appear in this area. 
So that's a quick way we can update the roster, and it's pretty easy. And uh, you can adjust what information appears uh, on your roster, you know, what's viewable by people when they come look at your roster. So I hope you enjoyed this how-to video. Thank you very much.